Merry Christmas! It is so good to be with all of you today on this amazing and special day where we celebrate uh, the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm on the spot where on Christmas Eve we had just this amazing gathering and time where we looked at how uh, Jesus gives rest to the weary. Well, this morning, I just wanted to give you all some encouragement uh, to celebrate rest on a day which might not be so restful. Uh, last night, we looked at, and this morning, we'll look at Jesus' invitation. And here's what he says in Matthew 11. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is great news for those of us who might be weary. And so today, I just wanna give you a few encouragements to celebrate rest on a day which might not be so restful in honor of the one who, who ushered in that ultimate rest through his death and resurrection, Jesus Christ, him and him alone. And so as we think about uh, rest and we think about how he has given us rest uh, from the penalty of sin through his, through his work on the cross, we think about how he has given us rest uh, from the power of sin and, and we're, we're continuing to experience that. And one day we will have that ultimate rest from the presence of all sin. Uh, when he comes back and renews all things. Today, I wanna encourage you in three different ways to celebrate that rest uh, that we have uh, right now in him. Even if today might not be so restful uh, for you, whether it's because you have a ton of kids running around or maybe you have some unrest on the inside because, because you don't have a ton of kids running around or whatever the case might be, uh, today is a day to celebrate rest. And, and as we look at this passage, uh, there's three encouragements that uh, I want to share with you and, and your family uh, to actually honor the one who gives us rest uh, by, by activating these. And, and the first one uh, comes, comes from the passage. It's, it's, it's the three verbs, actually. It's, it's come to. Jesus says, come to me. And, and when we think about, well, how can we do that on a day like uh, today? How can we uh, come to Jesus and... Uh, both for rest, but to actually honor rest, we can do that by going to his word. We know that uh, the word became flesh. And so when we go to the word of God, we're, we're also going to the, to the person of God in Jesus. And um, as, we, as we think about like celebrating rest and honoring rest today, because that's what Jesus gives us, I would encourage you just as a real practical application of that to read the Christmas narrative especially the, the one that, that uh, we looked at last night. Go ahead and read today by yourself or, or as a family, Luke 2, verses 1 through 20. And I encourage you to read that out loud. Read it out loud to the people you're with. If you're not with anybody, call somebody and read it to them. Or at, at least maybe have um, you know, that, that person, that voice on the YouVersion app, read it to you. But the out loud reading of God's word, especially the narrative of Christ coming to earth and the announcement to the shepherds, I think is a great way uh, to, to rest. It'll actually interrupt your day. And the thing about celebrating rest today on a day which might not be so restful is that it's gonna have to interrupt the norm of what you're doing. And I think that is an amazing way to honor the one who broke rest into us because he broke into an unrestful world. And so encouragement number one, read the narrative, Luke 20, I'm sorry, Luke 2 verses 1 through 20. Read it out loud and, uh, and let that be a way where you come to him. Number two is take upon, that's the second verb in this passage, take upon uh, his yoke. And when I think about that, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm reminded of like, well, what is his yoke? Well, his yoke is a yoke of grace. You see, see, all of us are born into this world in sin, and, and, and when we're in sin, we, what we do is we take on a, 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 a yoke of work, and we're trying to work our way back. We're trying to make it right somehow uh, by our own um, efforts. But the amazing part about today 
is that today Jesus ushers in rest and he invites us to take that yoke of grace of his work upon us, not our own. And when I think about, um, you know, taking a yoke upon you, that's, that's kind of like um, putting the weight uh, and the allegiance of someone or something on your shoulders. And one of the ways that you can take upon the allegiance, um, the weight of grace today, one of the ways you can celebrate that, I think it's just by having, having a moment of worship music. Uh, Christmas is usually filled with music and it's usually filled with Christmas songs, right? Like, like that's awesome. And some are old, some may be new, whatever, but, but we usually have sort of like a, um, you know, a, a song going maybe in the background. And, and obviously, oftentimes, it's a Christmas song, which is awesome, just like Buddy the Elf tells us. The best way to spread Christmas cheer is to sing loud for all to hear. I'm, I'm down with that. But what if today, as a celebration of rest to Jesus who ushers it in, we actually put on at least just one a worship song that wasn't from the, from the Christmas theme? And I would suggest to you specifically Living Hope. It's a song that many of us are familiar with at the Ave. It's, it's one of our songs, it's one of our anthems. And, and, and think of these words here of living hope. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my living hope. What an awesome way to reorient yourself and celebrate rest by like worshiping Jesus as, as the yoke that you can come under his work rather than the work that often even like today demands of you. So I encourage you to go to his word, first of all. That's an amazing way to celebrate rest. Number two, uh, put on a worship song. And it'd be awesome if you just kind of put it on for everyone that you were gathered with or even by yourself, with yourself, just for yourself and reorient yourself to like, I get to, I get to come and experience rest because he did the work. And then finally, the passage tells us to learn from him. And so this is an invitation to his way. And what's awesome about his way is the passage tells us that, that he's gentle and he's lowly. And so in the midst of much of the, you know, what may be chaos today, maybe not, I don't know your situation, but, but on a, in a moment that demands potentially a lot of us, what a, what a cool way to honor Jesus by by having a way that's gentle and lowly. Whether it's with the kids that, that you might be trying to like manage right now, or it's with uh, maybe difficult family relationships, or, or it's just even with, even with yourself and, and maybe some um, expectations that haven't been met, and, and maybe you find yourself unrestful. Whatever it might be, what an awesome thing to offer as a gift unto the Lord, worship unto the Lord, that you would have your way today with all those around you and even with yourself, a way that's gentle and lowly, a way that's patient, a way that's filled with mercy. Jesus, as Dane Ortland tells us, was, was gentle and uh, he wasn't trigger happy. He wasn't, he wasn't quick to, to, to anger. He was rich in mercy and he was lowly. He made himself available to sinners like me and, and like you. And, and, and what, an, what a beautiful way for us to celebrate the rest that he gives us so freely through his finished work and faith in it, that we might give that way of being gentle and lowly to others. And as it may demand something from you and as it may be a, a, a potentially a stressful day, I want to remind you, I want to encourage you to offer gentleness and lowliness to your situation as a way of celebrating the rest that is yours in Christ. Three encouragements, his word, his work, and his way. May that rest, may those encouragements like honor Jesus today and remind your heart of the rest that we have because of his birth, his life, his death, his resurrection, his ascension, and his promise to return. 
Merry Christmas, all of you. I love you. And may this be a restful day because of Christ Jesus alone.